the text that we're going to be dealing with that they're dealing with on this week, amen, is the 13th verse, amen, and prayer already went forth, amen, I'm not a traditional preacher, so prayer already went forth, and that was the prayer for the word too, amen, so I'm going to go ahead and start reading, is that all right? Yeah. Praise God, somebody just say, give us some word, that's all we need tonight, come on, somebody say, uh -huh. I got you on that, I got you on that, amen, they're in the 13th chapter, amen, of Ephesians, the 4th chapter, amen, 13th verse, amen, the scriptures read, till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of of Christ. Amen. I wasn't the best student, amen, in school. Amen. But I know that when I see colons, amen, that means that something, amen, either happened before. And then I looked at the verse beforehand and I seen colons there. Amen. So I need to go back and look at verse number 12, amen, to see, amen, to see why 13 was, was wrote. Amen. For the scripture read in verse number 12, which is prophetic, amen, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Amen. And I looked at that thing again and I see colons again. Amen. So I had to go back to the scripture before that. Amen. Which is in verse number 11. Amen. And then I looked at 11. The scripture says, and he gave some apostles in some prophets, in some evangelists, in some pastors, in teachers. Amen. I seen semicolons there. So I looked back. Amen. At the verse there. But I saw a period. So I can stop there. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. To the, to the, amen. But here in the scripture, it reads, amen, there in verse number 13, which is, amen, the situational text, amen, for this, amen, particular, amen, uh, celebration, amen, till we come in the unity of the faith. Amen. We are in a place right now, people of God, amen, where unity, Bishop, amen, is a foreign word in the church. I wish I had a church on tonight. Amen. But tonight we need to look at and see why is it important that we have, amen, unity. When we look, amen, the Bible, amen, we look in Psalms 133, amen, in verse number one, it said, amen, we ought to have unity with one another, amen, with, with, with one another, it's, it's, it's pleasant and it is good. Amen. Also in 1 Corinthians, the 12th chapter, verse number 27, unity is absolutely essential, amen, because the church is the body of Christ. Amen. If we are the body, we must be unified. Amen. In your own temple or in your own members, amen, there cannot be any division, amen, with your head and your feet. Amen. The preacher spoke on last night, amen, that there ought to be synchronization in the house of God. Amen. Just like we synchronize amen within our bodies amen we ought to synchronize amen in the house of God amen and then he, he helped us on last night and he said amen that that, that 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 the whole body needs to show up to the house amen then I look at verse number amen verse number 11 and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists let me take my time here amen I got a little time and he gave some evangelists and some pastors and teachers let me tell you something. The reason why we're divided is because, amen, we think, amen, that there is a separation, amen, amongst these ministers. I wish I had some help up in the house of God. Amen. The apostle is a minister. The prophet is a minister. The evangelist is a minister. The pastor is a minister. The teacher is a minister. But the issue, amen, or the breaking off comes in, amen, as the administration of that minister. Amen. And when we get to the place where we get in our lane, as the man of God said on last night, amen, the apostle would do what he had, or she was called to do, amen, and stay out of the prophet's way when the prophet is in the house. Now don't get me wrong, amen, you will have some apostles, amen, that will also prophesy. Amen, you, amen, as a matter of fact, amen, every apostle ought to be able to know how to prophesy or walk in the prophetic, but not necessarily every prophet know how to walk in the apostolic. Amen, but the, uh, oh, okay, I don't want to get two people on tonight. Amen. But the issue that we have is, amen, the unity, the issue we have, amen, Lady Campbell is, we don't want to unify and come together, amen, so that we can be more effective in the kingdom of God. Thank you. Thank you, Elder Campbell. Teach. Uh, I'm going to teach something here. L listen here. When you, amen, submit your ways to God, amen, and submit your ways, amen, to the moving of God, that's when the power. 
power will come in the room. That's when the power will come in the church. I ain't talking about these four walls. I'm talking about the church being me. Come on, somebody. Amen. You are the temple of God. Somebody shout hallelujah. And take the time here. The scripture says, amen, that he calls some prophets. Amen. I had to have, to have some debates with some people. Amen. They said that there's no longer apostles and no longer uh, prophets. I said, well, let me tell you something. I got to, amen, amen, be definitive in regards to that because if there's no longer apostles or no longer prophets, Amen. Then the church might as well pack up. Who am I talking to on tonight? Amen. Because the Bible says, Amen. In verse number 12, I feel kind of preachy already. In verse number 12, he says, For the perfecting of the saints, Amen. The saints have not been perfected yet. Who am I talking to? For the work of ministry, we got a whole bunch of lazy Negroes don't want to work. So that means that we still need the office. Who am I talking to on tonight? For the NFL of the body of Christ. Folk get edified, but they're not edifying the body of Christ. Who am I talking to on tonight? Amen. We edify it, amen, so we can line our pocket right. Oh, Jesus. You better go on. Don't call me to speak unless I'm the main speaker. Because I know that it's an awesome time to be in the main speaker. Get your main out of here. Amen. So oh, God can Jesus. do what he needs to do. Tell me about another apostle. Tell me. Have no self apostle. So, 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 so I, I hear you, Pastor. So, if, if, if you have the ministers to unify, amen, then the church, amen, can go somewhere. Who am I talking to? Amen. Because you need the apostle, amen, in order to establish or set order. Who am I talking to in this house? And I only set order, amen, but to bring, amen, the, the individuals, let them recognize what office they walk in. That's right. That's right. A lot of folk know that they're called, amen, but they don't know how to pull it out, amen. That's what the work of the apostle come in at. Come on, somebody, amen. It ain't just, amen. Yes, we are planners, amen. That means that we, amen. If I never, uh, amen, plant another, amen, brick and mortar, I ought to be planted, amen, in the flesh, in the flesh church. Who am I talking to in this place, amen? In this season, God is calling us, amen, to be mobile temples. Hallelujah, amen. You ought to have everything that you need, amen. If somebody want to come to Jesus, they ought to be able to look at the mobile temple. What's the name of your ministry? Amen. Brent International. Wherever my feet go, that's where the ministry is. Who am I talking to in here? We all are preachers up in here. Somebody say amen. When you ain't come for somebody that needs Jesus, you should have to call for your pastor. That's why it's important that you show up the Bible study. That's why it's important that you show up to Sunday school. I know Sunday school sound old fashioned. Amen. But if it worked then, it'll work now. Somebody say amen. So what? You ain't nominated to be the teacher this week. Get in here and sit your tail down somewhere so you can be learned. Somebody shout over. Amen. Then in verse number 13, he said, Till we all come into the unity of the faith. I know we're not there yet. Amen. Because we got apostolics. Amen. Amen. Fighting with the church of God in Christ. We got the church of God in Christ. Amen. Fighting with the Catholics. Amen. We got the Catholics. Amen. Amen. Fighting with the Baptist folk. We got the Baptist folk fighting with Presbyterian. We got your neighbors say, I'm all of it. Come on, somebody. Amen. All of them come out the Bible. I'm Presbyterian because I pressed for the mark of the high calling. I wish I had some help up in here. I'm Baptist because I went down in the wall. Come on, somebody up here. I'm church of God in Christ. Amen. Because he and I am the church. And he's God and we're in Christ. I wish I had some I'm Methodist because I know the method and amen. Of, of, of Pentecostalism. Come on, somebody in the house. I'm there in vain. Look at your neighbor say, we got to come into unity. We got to come into unity. We got to get better. 
the press, right? You got a little time. Yeah, we got to get better. Apostle, the Bible says there, amen, in the verse number 13, amen, the B clause, he says, amen, unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the statue of the fullness of Christ. Amen. Perfect here is not talking about you being perfect in the flesh, but it's talking about you being mature in the spirit. Who am I talking to on tonight? Amen. Quit let people tell you you're not perfect. Amen. If you know Jesus Christ, him crucified, then he lived, he died, and he got up, and you're living saved, all that you know how, the best that you can. I know we, we all still got workings of the flesh. Come on, somebody. Amen. But when he said Job was a perfect and upright man, he mean that Job was mature. I wish I had some help up in here. But Pastor Brown, that maturity will spill from the spirit spirit realm and come over into the natural. Ah, Amen. The, the spirit won't let your flesh get out of order. Who am I talking to in this place? The reason we can't get unified in the church this brick and mortar is because we're not unified within ourselves. I wish I had some help up in here. When your flesh lined up with the spirit, amen, that's when you will see a move of God. I wish I had a church on tonight. We ain't got separate Churches on tonight, it's only one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. They used to sing a song when I was coming up one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Take me by the hand and lead me on. That's the issue we got, Lady Campbell. Folk don't want to be led no more. Anybody want a briefcase? Anybody want a title? Anybody want a title? Amen. I'm not the man of the church of the frozen air. Ah, we got to get to the place where we are led. Amen. Instead of being dead. Who am I talking to in this house? Somebody shout hallelujah. I'm going to let you know when I'm ready to go to church, all right? Hallelujah. So the Bible says a man in, 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 in a body cannot disunify or disharmony with itself. You start taking off your limbs. Let me see if you can disharmony it with yourself. Somebody take your head off your body right now. I need somebody to take off their nostrils right now. Michael Jackson ain't in the house. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, bless it. Oh, rest in peace, my God. Hallelujah. To the Lamb of God, I'll do it. Help your servant. I'm just trying to make a point. Come on, somebody. Amen. This ain't no Mr. Potato International. I wish I had some help up in here. You can't change your nose when you want to. You can't change, amen, your foot when you want to. Amen. You can't change your eyes when you want to. Amen. There has got to be some unity. I got to make a disclosure. I don't got no sense. Amen. I'm for real about what I'm saying right about now. Somebody say amen. So the Bible says that. The Bible says that in verse number 14. Hallelujah. Amen. That we have five more minutes. That we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro. Oh my God. I've never seen in my life. Amen. I think I was the last. Amen. Of. Amen. The church that really wanted to live holy. I know it might not look on the outside, but don't look at the out. I know it might not look like with my dreads. You the apostle and you got a chicken and black and white shirt on. Amen. With a tie. Amen. That's too little. That's over your amen. That's over your big belly button. You got on some converse and you call yourself an apostle. Yes, baby. Cause let me tell you something. Amen. I know who I am. I know who I am. And I know that it's not the outer. Amen. That make me who I am in God. Who am I talking to in this house? You want to tell me you the apostle and you dance? Yes, I dance. That's the problem we got. We got folk that have got so high in it. Amen. Where they feel that they cannot. Amen. Praise and worship God no more. Who said the preachers was in sin for praise and worship? Sitting in the back office, in the words of my brother, sitting in the back, brothers in the back, lying to each other. Come on, somebody. Amen. That's a problem. Amen. We're not exempt. Amen. From praise and worship. We come out, won't everybody to stand when we come out, put up the right posture. The devil 
call in the liar. Amen. We are still called to be holy. We are still called to be holy. Look at your neighbor and say, get back in order. Get back in order. Get back in order. Uh, come on, can you go with me right quick? Because I'm coming down to my last three minutes. Brother Boy, get on them symbols and them stairs. Somebody shout out to you. I'm going to put you up in the head. Hallelujah, boy, baby. Hallelujah. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's time to come out. Of the false church. It's time to get in. The people church. I'm not just talking about if this was behind the church name. I can care less if you are the church of God in hands or you are the Baptist church. I don't care if you are the Catholic church. It's the same folk in the Catholic church. It's the same folk in the Baptist church. Sing it, Dr. Watts. That's why I came from her. Somebody shout hallelujah. But we got to get back in order. Look at your neighbor and say neighbor. You got to get back in order. That's the God is coming back for a church without a scar or people. It won't be long. He's coming back. Are you ready for his return? Yeah. 